Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dragon.com and in this video, we'll show you how to install the Android ADB drivers on your Windows 11 PC. Do keep in mind that these are the ADB drivers and not the fastboot drivers. So this will only work in ADB mode. So for example, you could use the command to reboot your phone to recovery via ADB reboot recovery, to bootloader mode via ADB reboot bootloader, to fastboot D mode via ADB reboot fastboot, or you could execute ADB shell commands to uninstall blockwares and so on. But these drivers will only come in handy so you could access the OS. In other words, you could interact with your phone and you could only be able to execute ADB commands. But it will be applicable across all the ADB commands, whether the ADB shell, ADB super issue commands or the normal ADB commands. But only for ADB drivers. If you are looking for fastboot drivers, you could refer to my subsequent guide and the video to install the fastboot drivers. But as far as this video is concerned, we will only show how to install ADB drivers and how to add this ADB drivers to your path in Windows 11. The steps are also applicable across Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 10 as well. So with that said, let's get started. First and foremost, you have to download Android SDK platform tools. This is the official ADB binary given by Google and is required to execute ADB command. So download it from the link given in my guide and extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want, but just remember the location of the directory and it's recommended that the location should not have any space in the name. For example, in my case, it's this PC Sadek platform tool. So make sure that there is no space between the directory name. So in my case, I've done the session E drive and these are the files of the platform tools folder. So make sure to extract them onto your PC. Once you have done the extraction, you will now have to enable the USB debugging on your phone so that your PC is able to interact with your phone in ADB mode. So go to the set settings menu. Then go to about phone and tap on build number seven times. This will enable developer option. In case of Xiaomi phones, you will have to tap on MIUI version seven times. With this, that developer option is enabled. So now go to system and you should now see developer option. Go there and enable the toggle next to USB debugging. You will now get a prompt on your phone. So tap on OK. With this, debugging is now enabled. And after that, you might get one more prompt regarding RSA keep fingerprint so if you get that prompt as well so make sure to tap on allow if you don't get that prompt now that's not an issue you will get that prompt later on after installing the drivers so with that said let's now verify our current phone status so in my case i've already installed the drivers so it might be a, a little bit different as opposed to your case but still let me show you so now what you have to do is download the drivers so go to the official google usb drivers page and as of now, I'm using a Pixel phone. So I'll be using the Google drivers. You could go to the OEM USB drivers and download the driver corresponding to your OEM. It has listed all the drivers for Pixel phone. You have to go to the Google USB drivers. The driver files are near about same for all the driver for all the OEMs. So in my case, this is the Pixel file uh, driver. So I've done the download. Once you've got the driver's file, simply extract them anywhere on your PC. So I've done the extraction in eDrive. The drivers will be in a zip format, so extract them onto your PC. So let me show you, these are the drivers file and out of all this driver file, we, the main file is the Android when USB dot INF file. And this is the file, so you will have to install this file. Once you have got your drivers file and once you have enabled USB debugging, once you have extracted platform tools, so now you could proceed ahead with the next step. So now go to the start menu and search for device manager or you could also Use the Windows X shortcut keys and choose device manager or right click on the Windows icon and select device manager. Once you are under device manager, so in your case, when the drivers are not installed, your phone will be listed in other, other devices or it might be there under the port section. In my case, I've already installed the driver, so it's been shown as under Android device, but in your case, it might not be the case. It will be under other devices or the, under the port section. Let me show you a screenshot. So initially when I have not installed the drivers, it was under the other devices with my phone name and a yellow exclamation mark. So the naming might be different for you. In some cases, it might be named corresponding to a serial number, a random alphanumeric string. That's not an issue. Just make sure that your phone has been shown here. If your phone is not shown in any of this section, then use the USB 2.0 port on your PC and use the USB Type C to Type A instead of the Type C to Type C. Likewise, you should use the official cable that came with your phone. 
So carry off this USB docks and make sure that your phone is being shown under other devices or the port section. So for the sake of reference, let's suppose my phone is being shown as under other devices section. So now you will have to right click on your phone. It will be shown right here. Right click on it and then you have to choose update drivers. Once you are here, now select browse my computer for drivers and then click on let me pick. After that, you have to click on the have this button and now you have to click the browse button and now you have to navigate to the directory where you have extracted the drivers. In my case, it's in the downloads folder and these are the drivers file. So extract it and now choose the Android Win USB .ina file and click on open. Now click on OK and it should now bring up the drivers list. Just select the ADB interface and click on next and it will now install the drivers. If you are installing the drivers for the first time, you will get a prompt something like this. Let me show you a prompt regarding that these drivers are from Google. Would you like to install the driver software? As you could see, that the name is Google and the publisher is also Google, so it's safe to install. So click on install. In my case, I've already installed the driver, so I haven't got this prompt. And once the drivers have been installed, you will get that the Android composite ADB interface drivers have been installed onto your phone. And now you will have to restart your PC. This restart is compulsory. So please restart your PC. Once you have done the restart, you will again have to launch the device manager. And now your phone should be listed under the Android device as Android Composite ADB interface. If that is not the case, then again, that's not an issue. Simply go to platform tools folder, address bar, type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch the command prompt window inside platform tools folder. Now type in ADB devices and you will now get a prompt on your phone regarding the RSC key ping up in prompt. Make sure to type on allow. Once you type on allow, you will get a serial ID and this device keyword. If you are not getting this serial ID, then disable the USB debugging and tap on revoke USB debugging. Again, tap on OK. Now, once again, re enable USB debugging and tap on OK. Now, once again, tap on, you will now get a prompt regarding RSA key fingerprint as you could see. So, if this is your own personal PC, you could check mark always allow from this computer and tap on allow. With this, the debugging is now enabled onto our phone. So now if you type in ADB devices, you could see we are now getting a serial ID. So you should now get the ID and everything is now working well and good. With that said, as of now, we are aware that the location of platform tools is eDrive, but your system is not aware of the same. So we will now have to instruct your PC that the location of platform tools is eDrive. For that, you could also refer to my guide. I have made a separate guide on the same, but let me show you once again. So what you have to do is first and foremost install the Android SDK platform tools. We have already done that and these are the files of the platform tools. Next up you have to enable USB debugging. That also we have already done as you could verify from here. The debugging is now enabled onto our phone. The third process is we have to add the ADB to the system variables part on our PC. So for that first and foremost click on the part and just if it's showing a C drive then hit the escape key once. Once you hit the escape key, it will be refreshed. Also, I would recommend you to close the CMD window and hit the refresh key once. And just a minute, let me simply delete this entire thing and hit the escape. So if you are seeing that you are, the path is not getting refreshed, that's not an issue. Just do a back and again go to the location. And this time around, as you could see, we are getting the correct location. So simply, Copy this location, hit the control C or right click on it and choose copy. And once you have got the location, go to the start menu and search for environmental variables. So as you could see, this is the environmental variable. Select it and from here, you have to go to the advanced tab. Then click on environment variables. Then you have to go to system variables. Keep in mind, we have to go to system variables and not the user variable. So go to system variables, select the path option and now click on edit and under the path you will now have to click on new and paste the variable that we have copied here in my case i've already done so so let as you could see this is the path which i have copied so just copy the path from platform tools folder and click on new and paste the path here once you have pasted the path just click on ok again click on ok and once again click on ok finally i will recommend you to once again restart your phone restart your pc not the phone and once your pc has restarted just let's 
verify the entire process once again for that disable usb debugging and unplug your phone from the pc now replug your phone to the pc and then re enable usb debugging tap on usb debugging and tap on okay we will not get rsc key fingerprint count once again because we have check mark always allow from this pc so that is why we will not be getting the rsc key prompt every time so as you can see currently we have enabled usb debugging now go to the platform tools folder type in cmd in the address bar and hit enter this will launch command prompt inside platform tools folder now type in adb devices and hit enter and as you could see we are now getting the serial id so you can now carry out any task of your choice for example let's reboot our phone to the fast boot mode let me show you so type in adb reboot bootloader and hit enter and your phone should now boot to the fast boot mode do keep in mind that the task of adb drivers now stands complete in fast boot mode in twrp mode in recovery mode or in fast boot d mode adb drivers will not come in handy any further from now on you will have to install the fast boot drivers in my case i have already installed the drivers so if i now type in fast boot devices you could see i am getting a serial id if you haven't installed the drivers you will not get any id so you could refer to my guide form here and then install the fast boot drivers as well i have made a video on the same so tell the time your phone is in the adb mode the adb command should come in handy and let me now boot my phone to the os so type in fast boot reboot and your phone should now boot to the os so guys on that note i round off this video if you have any queries do leave them in the comment section and please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks thanks a lot for watching